going. All right, Pete is in the first seat, playing as red. We got, we got Zeraki sizing up his opponents here, checking them all out. Zeraki does not see very much of Pete at all. Looks like... And, uh... Oh. Thanks to that attack and Pete removing Zeraki from the Harbor Islands, we now see even less of Pete. We have Banana Juice on white in the second seat. Uh, Zeraki with a less than ideal spawn this go around. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Bart hits his three on this turn that's coming up. Just to make sure that he can get his own bonus there. And that kind of leaves Zeraki in a bad way. Not clear what bonus Zeraki's going to go for, but I think if you're Bart, you go ahead and hit that three um, and claim your bonus. Yep. Bart in the third seat. Gonna split the difference there. Defend against Zeraki's five. Zeraki's exploring, seeing what bonus he might be able to get. Asking for the, uh, I believe that's Jamaica Plains. We'll look at the bonuses here in a moment. Um, and I think that's a plus five, if I'm not mistaken. Requesting that uh, Pete and Trunk move out. Fortifies his five off of Bart's border. Trunk is up in the fifth seat. Looks like Trunk might be hitting a Banana Juice 3 for that plus 2. Nope, taking a card. And No, he is going to hit the 3. Loses 2 on it. Trying to roll down a Zeraki 2. Successfully gets it. Zeraki apparently isn't happy about it. But... That three now long now is no longer in Zeraki's way. And now we have Nub 2.0. Last but not least, his bonus kind of neatly given to him. Speaking of bonuses, let's go ahead and take a peek at the Boston map. There we go. Okay, the Boston map. We have two plus twos at the north end. We got Alston, Brighton, and Charleston. They probably will get claimed, but we have no idea who's up there thanks to the fog. We have downtown and east Boston as our two plus threes. Uh, Trunk has downtown, and Bart has east Boston. Then we have one plus four, the Harbor Islands. It's unclear if Pete is trying to claim that, but we did see Pete make an attack there before Zeraki got removed. Um, then we have four plus fives. West Roxbury, Jamaica Plain, the Fens, Waterfront are your plus fives. Uh, the Fens, by the way, we saw Nub 2.0 take that, and Trunk appears to be attempting to go for Jamaica Plain. Uh, then Roxbury is a plus seven, which is the bonus that Zeraki is vying for. And then last but not least, actually last but most, you have the Dorchester plus 10 all the way at the southern end of this map. Hey, little fella. What What are you doing? What noises are you making over here? So yeah, Zeraki is going to grab his plus 7. Looks like Banana Juice may have made a play for West Roxbury. 
trunk on plus eight. So trunk must have um, a plus two. He 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 either has Charleston or Alston Brighton. In addition to uh, the downtown section that he has. Nub getting plus ten. So Nub has whichever of the plus twos that uh, Trunk does not have in addition to the plus five to put him on plus ten. So Nub in a very nice position. So Pete looks like Pete was able to get the Harbor Islands. He's on seven. So we uh, we kind of know where where everybody is uh, is at now. Um, let me see if I can do something here. You know what? I don't think I can. I was gonna I was gonna start marking up the screen, but I'm not sharing my screen. I'm I'm sharing Zarek's stream. So. White is in the bottom left, purple is in the top left, orange is at the top, uh, Bart is in the top right, Pete is in the bottom right, uh, and Zeriki is smack dab in the middle. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, we're going to see cards be exchanged. Um, in the, uh, oh geez, I'm already forgetting what some of these bonuses are called. In the waterfront bonus, the Jamaica Plain bonus, and the Dorchester bonus. So the bonus to the west of Zeriki, the bonus to his east, and then the bonus directly to his south are where the card trading is going to happen. Every other bonus on this map is currently claimed. Um, how's it going, Brian Moose? First time chat, wrong move. Yeah, wrong chat. All right, anyway. This is a 70% game. So these players are looking to get 30 territories out of the 42 that are available. Uh, which Zeriki is currently a, a long way off from. He still he needs twenty five more territories. So this this game is is likely to progress a little bit slowly, um, and I think Zeriki's game at this point is uh, is the wait and see game. Wait and see if and when someone fails, which. Nub seems to be getting uh, the best deal right now in terms of uh, troops per turn. He's getting 10 a turn. So if I had to guess, my, my bet would be on Nub making the attempt first. And then we'll just be closely monitoring the uh, the troop generation of these players here. Yeah, banana juice on eight. Banana juice sets in on three for ten troops. It's always nice. We may or may not see players go for uh, go for kills. Big twenty five stack for banana juice off in the east. It is possible that banana juice claimed the waterfront bonus just then. Bart sets on three for ten. Something about that color and that avatar with the sets on three. Not sure what it is. Can't quite put my finger on it.
But aside from that bonus, Bart is only making six a turn. So even though Zeriki got his bonus late, Bart seems to have the worst troop generation. And Pete has the second worst troop generation. Zeriki also on 10. Zeriki making a big 19 stack in the middle of his bonus. Now has a 10 trade. Trunk may now have the Jamaica Plains plus 5 bonus. But Nub and Zeriki on the best troop generation. Nub is probably slightly better off due to his uh, position and the fact that he got his uh, bonuses a turn before Zeriki. Pete trades in for 10 on four cards. Has a 24 stack in the southern corner of this map. We see the sword come up from Banana Juice. Did Pete break Banana along the southern bonus? Yes, he did. We see him poke his head out. Does he break anyone else? No. Pete, trying to stir the pot here, breaks Banana. Banana's only on three, I believe. Yep, so the uh, predictable counter break, it looks like. Maybe or maybe not. Not clear if he was able to get that off. And also not clear if he retook his bonus. I would assume that you would at least retake, even if you're not going to break. Bart's still on six. Bart is still in the inside the Jamaica Plains bonus, trading cards with Trunk there. Zeriki sets in for 10 with a nice little plus 2 on 4 cards. Adding 20 troops to the board here. Not going to get involved in whatever's going on between Pete and Banana Juice. Trunk trades in for 10 troops on 4 cards. Continues to trade cards with Bart. Nub is going to go to five cards. Looks like he also decides to break Banana Juice. Pete only getting three, so Banana Juice did break Pete in retaliation to Pete's break. And Pete fortifies his 17 out after taking a card on Nub in what was once Banana Juice's bonus. Does Banana Juice slam a 21 into a 16 stack? We see an oops come out from Bart. Not sure what that was about. Nothing too crazy going on. Looks like things have settled a bit between Pete and Banana. Nub only has enough for eight troops with his trade-in on five. Looks like uh, the bullying on Banana Juice has subsided for the time being. Oh, maybe not. We see Pete poke out from there. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, Banana Juice does still have that bonus. That that three must have come up from the from the south. Has a big 30 stack. 
right on Nub's border there. Can't really see what Bart's up to. Bart is definitely being kind to Trunk. Because Bart could easily remove Trunk from the Jamaica Plains bonus. Uh, but if he does that, Trunk does not have a way to get cards, right? Trunk's bonuses um, are wedged between uh, Banana Juice. Actually, maybe Trunk would be able to get cards in the waterfront. Um... Because it doesn't seem as though Banana Juice has that. Zeriki trades in on three. He's on 85 troops. Does he think he has... Does Zeriki think he has enough here? There might be a potential pathway for him. That attack, though, does close it off a bit. Um, So the potential pathway for Zeriki there, though it wasn't clear if he had it, was to send his 60 stack... Uh, west, have it loop around Bananas Bonus, go into Dorchester, and then up through the uh, territory that he just took, hit Nubs 20, and then uh, presumably there's some low uh, troop counts up there maybe, or you know you would hope, or, or Zeriki would need to hope. Uh, but actually maybe not, because Trunk has not really been adding very many troops to where he's taking cards at. So presumably Trunk is adding everything to uh, to the territories that are within his bonus. We've seen a very peaceful and conservative game so far, aside from the the uh, banana bullying that was that got started. Bart adding a lot of troops to his Jamaica Pl Plains bonus, but takes his card elsewhere. 69 stack for Zeriki. Yep. We see the trunk come out, or the dab come out from trunk. Pete trades in for 10 on 5 cards. So Zeriki with a big 70 stack. You know, if Nub doesn't run it first, it might be Zeriki that runs it first. Banana Juice trades in. Big 50 stack. Who's going to be the first to attempt the run? I think some somebody's going to uh, somebody's bound to run it shortly. I can I can feel it. Zeriki, no trade on three. Trunk trades in on 10, or for 10 on 5. Thanks, Mitch. I was I was trying to figure out the I was I my finger was hovering on the ban button there. <laughs> Beat me to it. Nub with some 30 stacks and a 38 stack. 40 stack. No one wants to be the first to run it, it seems like.
Nana Juice has been adding outside of his bonus, taking cards using uh, troops that uh, that are in his bonus, kind of guarding it. Another horse for Zeraki. Not what he wants to see, I'm sure. We can barely see anything of Trunk, but we know that he's got a decent sized stack. Um, just north of Banana Juice's 62 stack, just east of Purple's, of Nub's 31 stack. Nub sets in on three for the four trade. I think this could be an attempt. Breaks Trunk. Breaks Zeraki. This is definitely a run attempt. 40%. 45. 47. 50. Can he get into Pete's bonus? 59. 60. He's still hitting. Does he have it? Just a few territories shy if he doesn't. 69% and that is game. Congratulations to Nub 2.0. First to run it.